We're in the kitchen with Jeremy, and we are going to learn how to make these burgers. Are you ready, Chandler? All right. All right. Okay, so what do we do first? Well, we're going to start with our meat. Okay. So we use, it's roughly an 80-20. Okay. A little bit fattier, uh, I think it gives a little bit more so flavor. That, is that, does that actually help it stick better, or is it... I, you know, I think it probably does. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I'm a little, little out of my element back here okay. these days. <laughs> it used to be my element, now I'm a little out of it. Okay. But, um, and I'm not even going to worry about measuring it up. Okay. So we're just going to throw some meat in here, and we'll just kind of go from there. Perfect. And I'm going to add, we, we have a very secret, very, uh, uh, something we've, we've tweaked years and years over the years, but we have a pretty crazy meat mix that we do. Okay. I'm gonna keep it off camera probably and just okay. use salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic for some, just some good meat flavoring. So when you say meat mix, that's what gives the meat its flavor or its consistency? It's a little both actually. Okay. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's a long, a little, it's not meatloaf, but you right. kind of think more in those sure. terms. And then you, it, it helps it bind. I think it helps it take in temperatures if people really want it cooked heavily. Okay. It allows you to kind of get rid of all forms of pink Perfect. and everything like that on the okay. meat and still stay really, really juicy. Got it. Even if it's in my, what would, I would claim would be way overcooked. It, 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 it tastes well. great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Perfect. I'll just throw in a little bit of salt, sea salt, a little pepper. A little pepper. And uh, this is just some uh, fresh chopped garlic. Oh, yum. We'll throw a little bit of that in. I'll just kind of blend her up. Okay. What do you think, Chandler? <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we use our patty paper. Okay. Now we'll just throw a couple down. Make some. They're not too big. So these are the bottoms. Is they that what's going to we'll happen? We'll make the bottoms. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that. Make another one. All right. And then, this is how we make hundreds of burgers a day. Now we're getting fancy with this. We used to just use a bucket and just slam them down. A bucket? Okay, yeah. so but I'll just kinda, if you have a bucket, use yeah. it to make your hamburgers. It's a little more right. fun to do it that way than this. But we'll just kind of press them down. And those are pretty flat. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. They're pretty flat. I think, you And know, you don't worry about inch. the fact that they're not all the way rounded on the outside? No. I probably should be more oh, worried okay. about it than okay. I am. All right. But I'll just kind of, we'll shape it a little bit here. At home, though, if you're playing along, I would give it a good whack and, and it'll, probably okay. more circular. That That's beautiful. Okay. So we can call these two different burgers. Yeah. If the both of you wanted to start choosing from these array of ingredients okay. and have fun with it. So we have our cheeses over there. All right. Well, I am going to put this American in mine because you said how great it was. It and is then, fantastic. Yeah. Do you want to put Kojak Chandler? Let's try this one. No. No? Cheese. You don't want cheese? No, cheese. That's horrible. <laughs> All right. No cheese. No, we got to put cheese in. We're gonna put this cheddar. That yeah, you a little cheddar about. here. Okay. And we'll okay. typically kind of, you know, Break it squash up. in the middle a little bit. Okay. Um, that works well. We also have goat cheese. We have blue cheese. If okay. you wanna, we and find so, that a softer cheese generally works better. Yeah. I mean, we use cheese curds even in the middle. Yes. This one's never gonna get good and oozy. Okay. And, and then, do you put fresh ingredients on last? They don't go in the burger, correct? Typically not. It kind of depends okay. on the burger. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of stick to more cheeses, meats. Okay. We'll, we'll do fresh mushrooms inside. We'll sure. do, um, yeah, I think for the most part, that, okay. that that's a pretty good rule of thumb to follow. And then I for sure want to have bacon. Absolutely. Because Throw everything all is nicer better up. with bacon. I feel the exact same way. <laughs> so we'll just kind of cut this up. Do you want to do bacon on yours? Do you want bacon on yours? Uh, all right. Fine, the Cheetos you you want, want, so you want, you want spicy Cheetos on yours? Do you want to try them in the middle or should we put them on top? In the middle or on top? In the middle. Let's, let's try right. it. I think it might be so fantastic. We'll maybe crumble those up. Yeah, let's get them in there. We can get more Actually, in there. Actually, on top, on top. Oh, How on about top. we do a little bit? Let's do a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you and a fan of the spicy Cheetos? And the jelly. And jelly? We'll throw some jelly on top. On top. That'll go on top. Okay. Sounds great. So then we'll make our top patties. Okay. Hopefully, I have enough meat here. Who knew you could put Cheetos in a hamburger? <laughs> yeah, really. And. We're, um, you know, very traditional in the sense too, where there's a lot, whatever burger we have, there's probably 12 that never made it. Right. You know, right. or or something that was, it's now it's made it, but on, it's on its 23rd time okay. that we've actually made it. Okay. So there, there's. Uh, 
There's you know, a, trial a lot of trial and, and error, and, yeah. and this might actually be on the menu tomorrow. We'll just see how it works. <laughs> the Chandler burger. I dig it, though. Mm -hmm. All right. So we do the same thing for the top, and they'll have they'll have the whole table just decked out oh. and, and weighed out. Yeah, little burger balls, and they'll just slam them all by. And so what's your most popular burger? And then do you pre-make that? Oh, do you make those ahead of time? We make our, they're actually doing it right now, but we make okay. our burgers throughout the day. Okay. Uh, our cooks get here, you know, as uh, definitely in the door by 8, 8 a.m. Okay. For an 11 o'clock opening yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they start making burgers immediately. Okay. And, uh, but the Blue Sea, our flagship has been every day almost without fail. It's our number one seller. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, which is great. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of the, the burger that started it all it's for us, burger. and it was the first burger that we really made that we, you know, both Pat and I took bites of it. It was just like, wow, that's, okay. we felt like we were, it was kind of the first thing that solidified our confidence. It felt like we were on the right track. Good. Let me slam these down now. See, I'm getting better already. Yeah. It only took that one practice. It's like riding a bike. I think so. All right. So. Then we just kind of take your top burger, and you can try this if you want. Okay. And we just put them on top. Okay. And I keep the keep the paper on. We can grab oh, another keep the paper one. On. No, that's fine. Yeah, here, throw it on there. Okay. And then I just squish it. And around. I find like I try to use this thumb muscle there. Okay. And I hold it, and I just kind of work it in okay. circles. Try squishing it with but your I, thumb. But I think the patty paper really kind of helps. It does help. And then for us, you know, when we might have 20 on the line, but it helps to yeah. keep them separate as well. And you just kind of rock it in your in your oh, wow. a little bit like that. Oh. You just kind of keep going around. It's almost like a little ravioli. I would have to be <laughs> here from 4 a.m. until about 2 a.m. to make the same amount of burgers that these guys make. Oh my but gosh. They're uh, they're well-oiled machines now yeah. doing this. Okay. But I think that'll work pretty well. You can kind of you know. All right. And so. then from there, we just go straight to the grill. Okay. And then you can, then we'll peel it up. Yeah, peel the paper off. Yeah. These are handy, these little patty papers. They're fantastic. I know, they're, they're the lifeblood here. <laughs> and uh, I'll put yours on the back. Okay. We use an incredibly sophisticated toothpick method. So okay. we know what's what. Is okay, what we use. so I'm going to put this right here. Throw it right here. I think it might get a little hot over there. Okay. The jam goes on after, I think. Okay. All Oops. right. And we'll do. Anywhere from six to seven minutes a side. Okay. Seems to be about right. All this, right. Because it hasn't been used all day, it's probably quite hot. Okay. And I'll probably cook quicker than that. Okay. And I'll I'll try to keep it from turning into a hockey puck. <laughs> turning into a hockey puck? Yeah. Excuse me. All right. So our burgers are just about ready. Um, we did about six to seven minutes a side. And are we gonna? What are we gonna do with these buns? Yeah, you know, I think the the bun is often overlooked, but it's an incredibly important aspect of your burger. These are egg, locally made egg buns. Is what, okay. what we like to use. I mean, there's pretzel or potato or, or really anything that you think yeah. is gonna be great. Butter is always another key for yeah. us. These butter wheels are fantastic. I know, I know. When I'm at home, I just put, I just use a knife, and you know, <laughs> it's not anything is there. But we'll toast those up. My. Uh, what I'm always striving to do is have them look like, I want them to look like French toast, okay. kind of when they're done. I think, but kind of to each their own with that as well. And oh, Have man. you ever put a hamburger on French toast with syrup? I think you just created the next burger right there. We have used maple syrup on okay. burgers. Yeah. Um, okay, let's check them out. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these so they, they don't get too hot. Okay. Like I said, at on our main grills, we'll have just kind of a burger side or just a bun side, yeah. and you know, it might be a little bit of bleed, but they'll work. Yeah. They'll be good. They'll be great. And a lot of you know, certain burgers will will crack eggs with them. We'll put extra cheese and bacon on top. Yeah. We'll have, um, you know, like I said, there there could be three or four or five different things okay. that you're putting on it. So more is more. It can be, yeah. So these aren't the most attractive buns I've ever seen, but I think they're going to taste fantastic. You want anything, Chandler? Are you a pickle man, Chandler? Can you throw a little pickles on there? Or no, you're not even going to mess with that. I'm a pickle fan. Can I put a pickle? Where's my bun? 
All right, so we're gonna put yours here. Oh, you can use this one right here. Oh, okay. Mom, why don't we put them jealous? I don't know. Well, we're gonna hurt. I, I, I'm like extra pickles. I'm an extra pickle person. Okay. All right. There you are. So you were thinking maybe jelly. You want jelly with your in it? All and right. That's fantastic. One of our biggest burgers that we have is called the Jiffy, and we do peanut butter, pepper jack cheese. There's pickle on there, and there's bacon, and you get a lot of sweet and savory, and it's just fantastic. But then we had some pretty creative, enterprising patrons that would come in and they call it the third grader and they would do peanut butter and jelly right on top of the burger. That's actually, it's, it's amazing. It's so really you fantastic. Want to try that? Or you want to just, jelly. let's throw a little jelly on there. I think it's a good, you want to do it or you want me to do it or what do you think? Um, How about you do it? Yeah, All right, here's the jelly for you. You got the top of your bun right okay. here. And anything else for you? Um, yeah, I am going to have, I'm, I'm a veggie person, so I'm going to have tomatoes. All right, that looks good. And lettuce. That looks delicious. There. Yeah, the shredded works great too. This is just kind of your basic bib mm -hmm, lettuce that mm -hmm. you can get at the store. And it's nice because it stays in one piece. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, yeah. When you have a lot of sauces, I think the shredded is, is good because then it stays in there. Right. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a good job. That's some jelly. And you're thinking maybe a little bit more extra. Spicy Cheetos? Spicy Cheetos on top. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll have them stick right into the yeah. jelly. And... Yeah, that, that, I've always wanted to try that. Because <laughs> who, would, who wouldn't eat spicy Cheetos and jelly? Well, I know exactly the next burger <laughs> I'm going to be making. It's going to look a lot almost, like this. I've tried almost everything in ketchup. Uh -huh. Why not start doing right. jelly? I know, this? why not? Can we throw it on there? Yep. Oh, Ooh, Chandler. Look at that. Nice crunch to it yeah. when you put it down. All right. We'll cut her in half and see how it looks. Okay. Hopefully it'll be pretty fantastic. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That looks Prayers. delicious. Wow. Might get a little bit of jelly and Cheeto residue. That's all right. I think it's only gonna add personally. Yeah. So like so we had a Look pretty hot that. grill, but Ooh, well, that looks delicious. But I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> yeah. So, Those look fantastic. Yeah, there you have it. Thank you so and much. You know, we kind of started this whole thing by, by rating cupboards and putting everything that was edible on a sheet pan and bringing it by the grill. Yeah. And uh, some combinations that intuitively you think, like, this is just not going to work. Like, maybe jelly and some spicy chips. It might just be, might blow you away. It might be the new, new hot <laughs> taste profile. Right. I like to, when I have um, hamburger bars at home, I always fry up uh, eggs to put. And people are often surprised. Yeah. But once you have an egg oh. on a burger, it's so good. That's phenomenal. It's yeah. So good. 100%. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Tasting time. All right, Chandler, I'm going to help you with yours because these are messy. I'm going to help you first. You ready? <laughs> Take a bite. Wow, all right. Nice work. And? I think I'm going to follow in your footsteps and try one of those as well. <laughs> hey, what's the verdict? <laughs> all right. All right, I got to try this. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And how are the Cheetos? That's great. Way to go. You get the crunch in there? <laughs> Thank you so much for that showing us wonderful. this. To learn more about the Blue Door and how we made these burgers, visit our website.